no political content there, right? Yeah. It's like they funded art for the people who would react. And the father of my name, he died yesterday. And the father of my name, he died yesterday. This is my first time doing Critical Mass. I seem to have missed all the other events, but uh, it was sunny today, so I decided to come out. And what changed your mind this time? Oh, that summer was here and it was time to get more involved with the, the Vancouver biking community and you know I knew friends were going and it seems like a good social scene. Do you use your bike on a regular basis when daily. commuting through the city? Yeah, daily. Uh, I use it to get to work, I use it to get to the West End for my other job, uh, I use it to get to class sometimes downtown, uh, I, I ride at the UBC, I'm all over on, on it, yeah. It's the best way to commute in the city for sure. It's almost like you're practicing kind of uh, a derive, a, an exploration of the city on a more human level. Because in a car, you're so disconnected from your surrounding reality that you don't necessarily interact with the people and the kind of the emotions, the atmospheres that are going on in the street. And on a bike, you're a part of that. You're you're embedded in it. Cars kind of disconnect us, and, and we just fly by and don't think about the communities we're passing through. But on a bike, you explore them and you want to experience them. So yeah, it's a it's a far better way to connect with with what the city really is. We just finished a bike tour uh, two months from Calgary to Vancouver uh, yesterday, so we're celebrating uh, with some fellow cyclists. Absolutely, you can you can talk to people the, while you're riding. You're more connected with the place around you, and I mean, as a way to see the country, as we just did, it's pretty stellar as well. And I'm realizing that it's also faster than riding a car a lot of the time, yeah. <laughs> especially in the city. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jacob, and I'm 36. And I've been a resident of Vancouver for 11 years. I lived in Ottawa and I really enjoyed all the facilities that are available to bicycles there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I moved here, I was surprised to see that even though it's the West Coast and is known for its wonderful scenery and nature, there's not much of a bicycle culture. So what do you think something like this does for the community? It does annoy people, I know, but the whole idea is to raise awareness and, you know, trigger debates, arguments even. And a lot of people get upset and they want to talk about it. They're constantly asking, who does this? Who are you guys? And then people get to explain, right? Mm -hmm. And someone who sympathizes with us is our mayor today, so maybe he does make a difference. What do you guys think is great about biking instead of driving in a car? I think it's better for the environment. I just like it a lot. <laughs> it's a great experience for the kids who haven't done this since they were in trailers, pulled behind on bikes. So this is the first time that these two eight-year-olds We'll be able to go on the road in Vancouver and and raise some awareness about our public space, right? And have a lot of fun. We're super excited. Yeah. Well, I started going about two or three years ago, and I just got involved through a friend, and I've been coming off and on ever since. This is the first time I've ever really done this. It's the first time I ever really knew that it existed. Two summers ago, I was working on the opposite side of town from my home and I would bike home and I discovered all these little farmers markets and other things along the bike routes that I wouldn't have found if I'd stayed on the main roads in a car and if I had passed them in a car I wouldn't have stopped. Yeah. Honestly I've never been a big car fan so if I hadn't had a bike here chances are I would have stayed on campus I wouldn't have really explored the city. I really got to know the city through my bike. Uh.